What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Recently I've had a lot of comments saying how do I deal with scammers? So today we're gonna to be answering that question. Let's get right into this. So I've had a lot of people messaging and commenting on my flipping for profit videos asking how I deal with scammers and to be honest with you I have been scammed before but as a reseller you definitely want to try to learn different techniques to avoid being scammed and to catch scammers before you are scammed and before it's too late. Now with that being said there is a ton of different scams out there and the biggest one that I can think of has to do with Kijiji. So if you do live in Canada, you probably have experienced this at some points where if you post an ad on Kijiji selling something, it does ask you to put your phone number. If you put your real phone number, usually within an hour, you'll get one to multiple texts about this item. Usually it starts off usually the same and it says, is this available? And it lists the item and you thinking it's real will say, yes, it is available. Then usually they'll give you some kind of sap story or some kind of story where they're out of the country, they can't come to it, so they'll give you extra money for it if you ship to them, which is just not true. And even if you say yes to them, they want you to send you all of their information and that's how they scam you and that's how they get money out of you. If you get a text like this and you did list something on Kijiji, don't even respond to it, just delete it. And another alternative is to put a different phone number on Kijiji because all of my business goes through the Kijiji messaging system. It doesn't go through text. So if I receive a text, even if I think it's real, sometimes I will reply saying message me through Kijiji and most of the time I won't even get a response through Kijiji. Now, of course, there's other ways that people can try to scam you. If you find something that isn't locally, but you find it on Kijiji or Facebook Marketplace, you might be considering asking them to ship it to you. The biggest thing with that, I would say, would be to make sure it's a higher rated seller and make sure it looks like it's somebody that's legit. Make sure that they have higher ratings or if it's on Facebook Marketplace, that it is a real person and not somebody that just created their account a couple days prior. Even on Kijiji, you can see how old the account is of that person prior to making any final decisions. Now with Facebook Marketplace and Kijiji, they do suggest that anything that you are purchasing from the site, do it in person at a local meetup spot, somewhere that has a lot of people at it but there will be times where you likely will want to purchase something and have them ship it to you. Just buyer beware, sometimes you can get scammed. That's how I've been scammed in the past, where I did send an e-transfer for something plus what the shipping was supposed to cost and they blocked me, they never sent the item out. So definitely be cautious there that you could be scammed. And if it's something that you consider worth risking the attempt of being scammed just for the opportunity of purchasing something, then by all means, that's on you but definitely be cautious on dealing with that. The other thing with scammers is if you are doing an e-transfer and they are buying something off of you and send you an e-transfer, a lot of times they will wait until they have the item and they go to leave to try to cancel the e-transfer to avoid this. Make sure you have auto deposit on for your bank accounts. That way, whenever they go to send you the money, it will automatically be deposited into your bank accounts and they can't get that money back. If you don't have auto deposits, that is what they're hoping for. That way, when Whenever they go to send you it, before you accept it and put it into your account, once they have the item and they leave, they can go and cancel it and then now you are out that money and they already have your item and they are gone. I've seen a lot of people getting scammed that way and it does happen, so definitely have auto deposit available on your bank accounts and have it activated if you're gonna be doing deals like this. And the other way that I have been attempted to be scammed is whenever somebody buys something from me, whether it's on eBay or Facebook Marketplace and I have to ship it to them, sometimes they will claim that it never arrived and they never received it. But usually if it's certain items, I'll always add tracking with it or sometimes tracking is automatically included. So I can check the tracking number and confirm that it was shipped to them and they did receive it. Most of the time, once you update them with that information or give them the tracking number, they don't even attempt to try to scam you and want their money back and it is hilarious whenever they do so. 
In my opinion, as the years go on, there's always going to be new ways that people are going to try to attempt to scam you, and I probably will fall victim to one of these scams in the future, but it definitely pays to try to look into it. And the biggest thing is if the deal is too good to be true, it probably is. And if you're selling something, make sure you have the money in person, whether you already see that it's in your bank accounts prior to giving them the item, or if they're paying cash, make sure you get the cash before giving them the item. And if it has anything else to do with any of the other scams, just be a little cautious whenever making certain transactions and dealing with certain sites. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.